we're back baby there's been a lot of rumors circulating right now about death knights and tarn paladins which is pretty exciting um let's jump right into it though oops oh there it is there we go um gregory death knight <laughs> great name right Anyways, um, so during the phase three, one of the phase three quest lines for Paladins, um, we encounter Gregory, a death knight who's regained his free will, but still chooses to follow Arthas. Um, so during the last phase, or yeah, during the last phase, we actually save Aeonas, a Paladin who's got unconventional views of the light there. Um, but he introduces us to Gregory as a friend. Um, he wasn't certain about it before apparently but now he's like oh yeah he's he's still gregory um yeah but as, despite gregory's loyalty to arthas um yeah Aenos believes he we can still ally with him against the burning legion um gregory reveals that once he, or he was once a paladin who died during anderhall and later became a mindless scourge um but then after now he's regained his free will, but he still serves Arthas because he believes mortals need to be undead to stand against the cosmic threats, which includes the Titans, demons, the Void, the Burning Legion, everybody there, you know, Kill Jaden, Void Lords, Old Gods, all that. He says we're more powerful if we're undying, apparently. <laughs> so, which is pretty crazy. Anna still hopes that Gregory is going to leave Arthas's services. Um, but he also suggests the possibility that there's other Death Knights who are regaining their willpower as well. Um, so this is a pretty hefty um, piece of lore that's saying like, hey, uh, we're going to be able to play Death Knight. So sounds pretty sweet. Um, but... Yeah, currently only Alliance are able to play Paladin, Horde able to play Shaman. And honestly, it's been quite surprising that we aren't able to play both just yet. <laughs> um, though I feel like it's really not too far away. There's another Paladin rune quest where you're introduced to this new character called Brave Stone Torch. And he seems to be a Taran Paladin. He talks about Anshi, which is the Taran Sun God, and his newly discovered purpose, which I, which I think is like the perfect kind of reference or introduction to the Sunwalkers and introducing Paladins to the Horde side. Sadly, there isn't any references, or I haven't seen anything referencing Shamans on the Alliance side, but there's still a lot of things that are still being discovered and the devs are still doing a lot of updates maybe we'll see it next phase who knows um sadly a blizzard de a blizzard dev did confirm that they're they aren't spending any time adding paladins or shamans to either side as it takes more than just checking a few boxes and like adding in some different trainers um and honestly i think they should just add in blood elves and drain eyes that's probably a lot easier on the dev team rather than rehauling Tarns and dwarves to be able to play paladins and shamans. Um, and honestly, I think it'd be great to see paladins and shamans coming in on both sides, especially right now with how strong shamans actually are and potentially how strong paladins could be if we see Ashbringer this next coming uh, this next coming phase, which uh, would be really cool. Um, but yeah, adding Death Knights as well, that'd be really cool to see him like introduced in like a new fashion during Wrath of the Lich King, or rather than how they were introduced in Wrath of the Lich King, um, especially because people have been asking for like an Arthas Redemption arc there too. Um, but yeah, let me, know, <laughs> let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I got my tongue all tied up, but I hope you guys have a rest of the day. We'll see you later. It's a goodbye, just a goodbye. Forever and ever, you'll never come back. Just a goodbye, forever goodbye. I said.